Hi everybody, this is Ananda Leak with Ananda Leak TV. You are looking at my fabulous sorority sister, Tony Odom. We are still talking here at the Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated's National Boule held in Palm Springs, California. It's hot outside and it's hot in here because we're bubbling with information. So Ms. Tony Odom, yes. can you tell us what is your definition of social media? Basically, the way I look at social media is just a new way for people to connect, share information, uh, produce content. That's basically what I'm doing. And um, I think it's such a great way uh, to tell your story, to uh, keep the world you know, involved. I think too many people get lost in their own lives or whatever, but I think by using social media, uh, by sharing your thoughts and, and, and uh, giving out information, people learn a lot, and then you can get involved and feel more a part of what's going on in the world. And I think that's really uh, important for people because it's so easy to get bogged down with everyday stuff and you don't even know who you are. So <laughs> by giving my opinion or, or sharing a thought about a movie or whatever is a great way for people to come together. All right, can you tell us mm -hmm. this year, social media has played a major role in your distribution of a fabulous new project. Can you tell us about that? Sure, I have a webisode called Ashe, which is a black uh, soap opera that is on the internet and I've used social media totally to start getting the word out. I use um, Facebook um, in terms of every week people get the link to the show, Twitter, um, a lot of the online websites like of course YouTube, Vimeo, places like that and by each one building on itself you know I've been able to really get it out there and able, been able to attract uh, advertising so it's a great um, like I said way where producers like myself that don't have millions of dollars but we can make it look like it <laughs> and the content and everything can get out there and I really want to make an impact on showing how programs that focus on black people um, can be very successful. And so, so tell us mm -hmm. a little bit about Ashe. What does it mean? Sure. Ashe is a Yoruba word which means and so it is. It's almost kind of like saying amen and um, that's something I, I, by getting our vibration, and what I mean by that is the spirit that, that people feel when they say things it, it has a vibration. That's why it's so important to name your children good things because think about it, that's some, a sound you're going to hear it for the rest of your life. So that vibration I try to put out there with the name of the show, Ashe, and so it is, is that we can bring people together and, and mean what we say, say what we mean, and that's really what that word kind of is about. We can make things happen. We can manifest things by through the word, All right. spoken word. So how did you get this training to be a producer and a writer of a webisode? Training? Did I go to film school? No. Um, I just did it. You know, I, I'm a very spiritual person. I try to keep prayed up and whatever, and that was a stumbling block at first. I was like, I never went to film school. I, I haven't written a script before. What? And then I was like, no, I could do it. I say, and so it is. So that's what happened. I just did it. And now it's on the internet. It's doing very well. People are really watching and watch it everybody and um, <laughs> it just happened so I, I just know how powerful thoughts and spoken word can be all right can you tell everybody where they can find Ashe online sure you can find it basically google it you will see we're on blip tv vimeo blinks uh all kind of places but the main place i want you to come watch is on the website which is www.ah S-H-E dot com. So Ashe dot com. And there you can go and get recaps. So we're up to our eighth episode. So we've been running for two months now. But we're going to have 24 episodes. So you can go there, watch the recaps, um, and get caught up and stay involved. Because it's juicy and full of suspense. <laughs> All right. Can I ask you one last question? Sure. Can you tell everybody, what's the premise? Just a short summary of, like, who these people are on Ashe. Okay. Ashe basically is the name of a bookstore. There are four um, brothers and sisters, two sisters, two brothers in a family. Um, they lost their parents very young, so they really worked to stay together. And the one sister um, opens a bookstore, so she's more the conscious kind of 
militant type sister, you have the corporate brother who's kind of womanizer, you have a younger brother who is a college student, and then you have uh, another sister that is a lesbian. So it's kind of like bringing all those factors together, which are all real uh, parts of our lives, and you know, just showing how the love of a family and their interaction with others. But there's all kind of little twists and turns in there, so you have to watch to see. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, and sure. we wish you the best of luck with all your endeavors. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye.